What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I have a super highly requested video that I am so excited about. So I have recently been using a mystery blue liquid latex in my nail art videos and a ton of you guys have been asking me, but I wanted to save it until this video to do like an ultimate liquid latex showdown for you. So today I'm going to be picking the top three brands of liquid latex and we're gonna have a showdown. I'm gonna show you guys how they apply, how they peel off, and then we're gonna talk about the prices. All right, so let's talk about brands. The first one you guys all know, it's Simply Peel. This is by Bliss Kiss. They actually have it in this sort of funky container as well that you can also do. And no, this isn't a refill. People are always making fun of me for using this in my tutorials, but I swear it's not a refill bottle. It's just another way of applying the liquid latex. But anyway, so it comes in this nail polish bottle. If you guys remember last year, actually I feel like it was almost exactly one year ago that I did this video. I did a comparison video of Simply Peel, which I was trying for the first time, and Mess No More, which is another liquid latex that I used to use. It was actually the first one that I had ever used before, and I thought that, you know, that was as good as it got. But then I tried the Simply Peel and I realized that life is so much easier with Simply Peel. Now I'm going to be putting it to the test again. Brand number two that we're going to be talking about is Liquid Palisade. So a few months ago I started using Liquid Palisade and one of the really good things about this is that it is sold in stores. So it's really hard to find liquid latex in stores. It's really just an online exclusive thing. So they have a huge market because they're sold on Sephora. So that seems like a really great deal. I wanted you guys to have the opportunity to purchase something in store rather than have to go online, especially because some of you don't have the ability to purchase online. As far as I know, the original liquid latex that was meant for nails, and they have two different kinds. They're both the same formula, but one of them comes with a thinner brush, so you can actually use this on your nail and do nail art and then peel off the liquid latex. All right, and this is the one that I have been trying for my last few videos. This is just liquid latex that I bought on Amazon. It's ounce bottle. It is not originally intended for nails. This is like, I don't know what they're supposed to use it for, costumes or special effects, but I bought it. I got it in teal. I transferred it to an empty KB Shimmer top coat bottle. I tried to peel off the KB Shimmer text on this so that I would be able to differentiate it from like one of my polishes, but unfortunately that is really on there. So it's really hard to get off. And if you guys are curious about how I got it from here to here, let me know and maybe I'll do a video on it. One of the reasons that I picked it up is because a lot of people were talking about how liquid latex is really expensive. So I wanted to see if I could find a cheaper alternative. And I gotta say, these three liquid latexes that I'm going to be showing you guys today have a huge variation in price point. So we're gonna be talking about that because I think that is extremely important. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you guys how they apply and how they peel off. So we're gonna start off with the Simply Peel. This is like a really nice off-whitish, beigey sort of color, and it's got glitter in it. The glitter doesn't come off in your skin, but when this color dries, it actually sort of looks like boogers. Not that it matters, I mean, it's still a really good peel, but I thought I would just let you guys know. But yeah, as you can see, my brush is totally janky. That's because somehow the latex dried on there. I tried to peel it off. It didn't go so well, clearly, and now it's just really stiff. Now, I could transfer this to another bottle, but that's kind of inconvenient, so I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. All right, so next I'm going to use the liquid latex that I got off of Amazon. As you can see, this comes in a giant four ounce tub, so I can't exactly just be dipping a polish brush in there. So what I did was I put some of it into this empty KB Shimmer top coat bottle. So the really cool thing about that is actually that I got to pick what kind of bottle I wanted to use. So I'm using my favorite type of bottle and my favorite type of brush. So I think that made me a little bit more comfortable actually applying it onto my skin. So this one, I chose the blue color and I actually paid more to have the blue. They have a ton of other colors and they're all $2 cheaper, but I don't know, I was really feeling this blue. So this one, like I said, it's a nice blue color. It feels thinner than the Simply Peel, but it actually is just as thick of a coat as the Simply Peel. So that's just a really nice feature of it. And yeah, it actually, it ended up drying pretty much the same color as it applied, which was also pretty nice. And finally, we are going to use the Liquid Palisade. Now, like I said before, there are two different kinds. One of them has a really thin brush. It's the French manicure one, and you can use it to draw on designs, but I'm just going to use the regular brush one because that is what we are comparing today. So 
This one is this like really pretty lavender color and it actually is different from the other two in that it applies really thin and it leaves less on your skin. And it actually dries a little bit darker and a little bit clearer so it sort of comes off as this like darkish sort of translucent purple when it's totally dry but it is really easy to apply. The brush is a tiny bit smaller than most nail polish brushes so you get a really easy way of applying it. You can get nice and close to your skin even with a regular size brush. So in my last liquid latex video, I actually did a comparison of the dry times, but honestly, all three of these dried pretty quickly and it was all sort of the same amount of time. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna skip that part and I'm just going to apply my gradient with a sponge. All right, so now we're gonna peel them all off. This is Simply Peel, came off nice and easy. Now we're gonna move on to the liquid latex from Amazon. Again, peeled off really easy and so did the liquid palisade to be honest they all kind of peeled off the same they all worked really well any amount that you see around my cuticle is really just user error but as you can see the biggest amount was on the simply peel and i think that's really just because that brush got super stiff just from drying out and it's a little bit harder for me to get too close to my cuticle because i have such deep nail beds but the one thing that i did love about using my own bottle for the Amazon liquid latex is, like I said, I was able to get a little bit closer to my skin. So this is the least amount of cleanup that I've really ever had to do before, which is really awesome. But then you have to deal with the inconvenience of having to pour it into your own bottle. I'm gonna throw some serious math at you guys. Let's talk about pricing. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the Liquid Palisade. Now this one is the easiest to access because you can buy it in large stores like Sephora. It comes in a 0.08 fluid ounce bottle, which costs $14. And that comes out to a whopping $175 per ounce. All right, so let's move on to the Simply Peel. Now this one comes in a regular nail polish bottle, which is 0.5 fluid ounces, and it costs $12.47. Now you can either get it in this one or you can get it in that squeezy bottle for the same price. And that comes out to $24.94 per ounce. So already we can see a huge price difference just in the first two here. And finally, let's talk about the price of this tub that I got from Amazon. This is four fluid ounces, so it's significantly bigger than the other ones, and it costs $6.99. Now, I ended up paying $8.99 just because I wanted the teal color, but you can buy a different color for $6.99. So that actually comes out to $1.75 per ounce. So that is literally 100 times cheaper than the Liquid Palisade and 14 times cheaper than Simply Peel. So after testing all of them out, and honestly, I really think that the differences are really, really slim. I'd say my least favorite just on the peel was the Liquid Palisade, but really, again, not a significant difference. So it all comes down to price here. And honestly, I would rather pay a lot less to have the same product and just deal with pouring it every once in a while into a new bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that the winner is this Liquid Latex from Amazon. All right, so that is it for this video. Leave me a comment below letting me know which of these three liquid latexes is your favorite, or if there's another liquid latex that I did not show in this video that you like even better than the ones I showed, let me know too, because I'm always curious to try the newest, best thing. As always, I will put links in the description for all of the products that I used today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. Please give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this, and make sure you subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys later. And that comes out to, is it whopping? And that comes out to whopping hundred and seventy-five dollars. To a whopping. A whopping. What did I say? I said to a whopping. I just said to a whopping. No, I said to a whopping, which comes out to a whopping. Now I can't say whopping. <laughs> the latex is, is your favorite, or the that I didn't show in this. Shirt. Thanks. It's my nail polish addict shirt. Not sponsored.